Hello, everybody. Welcome to Parsham Wine Pairing this week with David and Dovey. Um, happy to be doing this again. And this is the last week of the book of Exodus, Sefer Shemai. So we are exiting Exodus. And the last part, if I'm not mistaken, is Parsha's Pekude. Mm. And in that week. What does that mean? What does Pekude mean? It's Vayakil and Pekude. The Pekudim. This is Ve'ela HaPekudim. There you go. Um, yeah, so what happens in this week's Parsha is that they, they gather a lot of that, uh, the stuff we talked about last week. They gather a lot of the money, the silver, the copper, the gold, all things that they need to build the Mishkan and and all that stuff that's needed in the Mishkan. One of the things that it talks about is the clothes for the Kayan Gadol. So they, they went ahead, uh, I believe it was, um, I'm going to say <laughs> B'Tzalel and Aliyah. No, B'Tzalel made the Mishkan. Right, but they also work on An the architect. clothing. Oh, they also yeah, the B'Tzalel and Aliyah, I think they, they're the ones who put together the clothing and um, for the Kayan, for the Kayan, for Kayanim and the Kayan Gadol. And one of the garments is the the breastplate, the hoshen. Ooh, oh, nice. hey, did that's, I just feel the yeah. thunder? Oh, well, there. Go ahead. Well, that's so. Dovey, let me ask you: if you had to uh, pair this week's parsha with a wine, this is about. I would say one of this is a ma- uh, pairing made in heaven. I don't think it gets any better than that. It's one of the best. Yeah, this I mean, there's the a few pairings. really good ones. This is one of the best ones. So you got the uh, the hoshen. The so dun- tell me a little bit about about the Hoshan. So this is the breastplate and yep. what's diamond? Tell me about diamond, the series. Because it had the different, well, the, uh, so so the, the breastplate had different diamonds on it, right? 12 different diamonds. Now about the, the series. So Binyamina, obviously a lot of people are familiar with like Binyamina Reserve Cab, the Binyamina Bins, uh, the Binyamina Yogeb. Yogeb cave, wines, they make cave. The cave and the old, Cave Old Vine. So they got a lot of different series of wines. This is one of the newer series. It's, it's been around, it's been on and off the market because it's, it's, they don't always have it and it's limited production, but they have this series uh, with different diamonds. Different, like, different so stones. Different stones, right. sorry, different Diamond, stones. Diamond, ruby. Ruby, sapphire. Diamond. Aqu- aquamarine, diamond, different stones. And um, not all of them are available here in the US. Right now, this is the only one. I think another one just came, the Tarshish, the aquamarine. What about um, Cubic Cernia? Did that one come? The who? Cubic Cernia. CZ is not not part of the <laughs> not series. Part of the series. Not yet. Not part of the series yet. Maybe uh, maybe we'll have it. But you know we're we're gonna try to try to get get behind this this uh, series because there's a, when I was there I tasted them. They're fantastic wines. Just, they don't have a lot of them, so they don't really export a lot. Uh, they also have a single vineyard series. When when we were there together a couple of years ago, you came home. That was like the, one of the wines that you, you like your two wines that you brought back, the Petit Syrah. Yes, single vineyard. That, but that was another Hoshan series, right? That, but it's different. It's a single vineyard. Mm-hmm. These are, the, this it's is, the it's, it's, so they have this series, the diamonds, the whatever, the, I don't know what the series is, the, the Hoshan series. And then they have the, uh, the single vineyard. Those are in between the cave and the reserve series. Awesome. Fantastic wines, lots of good stuff. Also really nice winery uh, to visit. And um, yeah, so the... Can we give it a whirl? Yeah, it, it pairs well, and we're going to go ahead and, and try it uh, in your preferred glasses here that, uh, that you like to drink from. The wine snobs of the world, or not snobs. Just one of the good things about having a bigger glass is that the, the wine gets more surface area here. So it comes in contact with more air, which helps it breathe. We also decanted this wine uh, before uh, before we went live for a couple of hours. So it was sitting in a decanter then pour it back into the bottle. And now we get to put it in nice large glasses to get some more air and swirl it and get even more air. Um, yeah, this is uh, it's quite quite dark in color. It's a... Uh, Classic, predominantly Cabernet blend. Yeah. Tons of dark forest fruits and nice mm-hmm. spice. And yeah, definitely got a nice spice. Nice oak, the nice, I mean, the oak is really coming through. Blackcurrant, blackberry. Kind of a, Oak is the, a little harsh now. What do you think? So on the nose, I, it's the oak or the alcohol. Like you're the alcohol is very strong. It's as only well. fourteen. It's not only. It's fourteen and a half percent. So yeah, but you definitely smell that alcohol. You're getting some of that in there. You're also you got a big glass, so you're getting a lot of that aromas. A, a lot, a big, a big space to put your nose in and give it a, whir, a give it a sniff. All right, so let's let's give it a taste. Very pure coffee. Ha <laughs> 
<coughs> that alcohol is just a little too strong. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think so. Maybe you ate something sweet before? Could be. <coughs> Um, one of the first things that pops out to me on the palate here is like the greenness. Right. Very green. Which you don't get on the nose. On the nose you're getting a lot of fruit, you're getting some spice. <clears throat> but um, You think that's more from the, um, you know, from the particular dough, dough and, yeah. and, and, or it's, you don't think it's the underripeness? You think it could be underripe. It, it could be something's underripe, but you're getting a lot of the other stuff in there. I would imagine it's from the petit verre dough. Sometimes petit verre dough really like... It's, right. it's but like it's 10% not, yeah, in 10%, here, but, but yeah, you can still of, get I was it. also, before I, you know, swall, you know, came down a little wrong, uh, I was, all, you know, definitely have a tremendous amount of green fruit that's really overpowering here. Um, let's give it a good whirl. And we have Shannon, who's uh, wondering if uh, anybody else here is getting their education during lunch. Listen, this, for me, I'm, I'm also learning because I get to try these wines. Even if I've tried them before, they, they evolve, they develop in the bottle, so they taste different. You get to see how they progress. Um, definitely had this wine a few times before. Um, Actually, this, you know, on another world, another, there's, interestingly enough, there's some other layers of like leather coming through. Um, try and the first time I had this wine just now, I thought it was very fruit forward, but there's some balance there. There's some, mm. you know, some some leather and some earth. Um, it's a nice wine, not bad. It, you, you, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot in this. There's this a lot is also this. like a wine that stands up to food, obviously because a lot of the cab, the alcohol. Um, it's got big tannins. Yeah. Um, the acid is good. It's also a wine that could probably age for a bit. It's 2014, but it could probably still. You know, some of that harshness that you referred to earlier probably will mellow out right. with some time. Um, but if you're eating this with big fatty steak or something that will cut through some of that acidity and... I mean, and the tannin is still, and yeah. the acid actually is still prolonged. It's, finish, it's finish, a nice yeah. wine. It's, it's a nice wine. It's definitely very interesting. And I'm really looking forward to trying some of the other wines in this series. Anyway, fantastic stuff from Benjamino Winery. Um, next week... Uh, I should have had, we have the bottle somewhere. I don't have it here right in front of me. But next week's Parsha is the first Parsha of Leviticus, the Sefer Vayikra, the book of Leviticus. And for that, I think, if I'm not mistaken, and I should have probably, I like jumped off a conference call right before this and I didn't really have time to, to make sure I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's the book of Exodus. Not the book of Exodus, the wine Exodus, which is also quite interesting because like we, we probably spoke about that before, but if I'm wrong, um, then whatever wine we have next week, it is next week. But if you want the wines that we're gonna have for the whole book of Leviticus, and this is a perfect time to jump on that wagon, you can get the, um, you can get the uh, case, the mixed case that we have for the book of Leviticus. And the mixed case is online right now, so go check it out. And it will have a list of all the wines that we're gonna be trying throughout the book of Leviticus. So definitely um, take a look at that, look at all the wines. You should purchase the case because it's also gonna have the wines that we're gonna need for the weeks um, of Passover where we don't read the traditional portion, as I mentioned last week. Um, we discounted that case. You don't have to put in a code or anything. You just buy the case, add it to the cart. You're gonna have enough wine to go for 12 weeks because there's 12 bottles. So it's a great, great case to have. It's got a variety of wine, something for everyone. Um, just look it up online, partial wine pairing, and we'll put a link in there for you if it's not there already, and you'll be able to get that. Um, and actually, I, I just remembered, or I was just reminded that next week's Parsha, uh, the wine that we're gonna use is the Baron Herzog Aleph. And I know why we're gonna use that one, but we'll talk about that next week. You'll have to join to find out more. Uh, but another thing I want to talk about is like Purim's coming up a couple weeks. Purim is. Are we? It's, do you know what you're dressing up as? I do. You um, do? Are you, gonna, are you? Is it public information or is it a secret? Um, it's a little embarrassing. So okay, so we don't. Have to I, talk but about I have it. a five-year-old daughter who's oh. insisting on me dressing up this way. So did you? You know, one year I dressed up as one of the Little Ponies. I, I can't now remember this, which one I'm it was. I'm pretty sure that my costume is going to be is is more humiliating than, than Rainbow Dash. 
Okay, Rainbow Dash is another I, store. I don't know if it was Rain- I was one of them. We bought, right. like, white sweaters and... Wait, you're talking... Rainbow Dash. You're talking about the, The uh, Little Ponies. My Little Ponies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of Care Bear. Not Care Bear. Okay, mm, Rainbow know. Dash. Someone else. No, this is yeah, pretty... Yeah, I was one of them. We bought, like, white sweaters and we sewed on a whole bunch right. of... Depending on which... Well, we're, ha- we're going to have an office party. A perm office party. Maybe so I'll dig I up that sweater. You, I want you dressing up like Rainbow Dash and I'll bring my costume. My and, kids uh, will definitely help me with that. And everyone's going to have to tune back in to, to see this. Yeah. If you want to see us as Rainbow Dash and what's another Little Pony? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the Rainbow Dash. Okay, Apple something. Anyway, um, then check in with us sometime in the next few weeks. Stay, t- stay tuned every week and once you may see us in uh, Little Pony costumes. Um, but aside from our personal uh, design, costume design preferences, there's or, or the wine thing, wise. the things we do for our kids. Or, and for our customers. Yeah. Um, but we have some de- definite, definitely we have some wine related stuff coming up for Purim. Mini bottles, so you can put that in your shalach months. We've got a promotion going on for that right now. You can check it out at koshwine.com on the homepage. There's a banner for it. Oh, Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright. St- uh, Rainbow Bright. Now we're getting our education. Ah, you're, t- you're talking about like you're Star Bright. The- no, Rainbow Bright is the name of Rainbow, another Rainbow Dash. No, Rainbow, Rainbow, Bright. Rainbow Bright. If it is, it's a new pony that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> right. You're not. Um, Applejack? No, I don't, uh, whatever. Okay, I'll bring my kid in next week and get, get to the bottom of it. Um, but uh, the mix, the mix cases we have for poor mystery mix cases, fantastic value. They're huge discounts. You, all the wines in there are, are great. I drink them all the time. That's how I know. And you can get those uh, in time for Purim. Just order those cases. Uh, some other sales going on. So just definitely make sure you have enough wine for Purim so that you can enjoy the meal. And I advise you to take the Friday off of work because, you know, you'll have a meal Thursday night and just Thursday fr- night in make the it Friday. a long weekend. Um, and uh, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do for partial wine pairing that week because we're maybe we'll we're do not, it. On, maybe we'll do it on Tuesday. Maybe on Tuesday because Wednesday is the fast. So maybe we'll have to do Tuesday that week, but that's not yeah. next week. The week after, we'll figure it out. We'll make sure to get you the, we won't the, leave the you information. Um, at Shutterfly, Shutterfly is another <laughs> another pony. Okay. All right. All right. But okay. So I think we've covered everything that we need to cover here, and uh, live from uh, Washington D.C. Uh, here at the Jake Worldwide Group. headquarters of World, Kosher Wine. Uh, Kosherwine.com. Worldwide and, headquarters. And um, with the world renowned speakers and uh, social media people, Debbie and David, we're wishing you a good Shabbos. And uh, this thus concludes uh, the book of Exodus. Chazak, Chazak, Venis Chazak. See you next time, next week.